I want to say a few words in defense of mindfulness meditation. People sometimes criticize it as being solipsistic, as being an exercise in self-absorption. And it's true that it may involve looking inward. So during a meditation session, you might examine your feelings. But the point of the exercise is to become less self-absorbed. The reason you examine your feelings is to get enough critical distance from them so that you no longer slavishly obey them. And as a rule, being less reflexively obedient to your feelings will make you less self-absorbed because feelings are usually about yourself, right? I mean, you feel anxiety before a public presentation because you're afraid of what people will think about you. You feel anger or resentment because of what someone has done to you. You feel a junk food craving because you want to gratify yourself. Now, I'm not saying feelings are always self-centered, and I'm not saying that the point of mindfulness meditation is to completely distance yourself from them or become wholly unresponsive to them. But I am saying that although mindfulness meditation can be about getting in touch with your feelings, that is not in a self-indulgent sense, and it's not in a fuzzy sense. Mindfulness meditation is an analytical exercise. It involves, among other things, more clearly seeing your feelings and more clearly understanding how they control your behavior so that you can at least partly escape that control. And as a rule, being less slavishly obedient to your feelings will make you less solipsistic, less self-absorbed, not more.